from December the 30th, 1884 through Christmas Eve of 1885, Austin had a very, very dark page in our history. And it just so happens that we hold the dubious reputation of having the first serial killer in American history. Uh, the killer killed for one calendar year, killed eight people, seven women and one man. And I guess the trickiest part is we never caught the guy. So it's still a mystery. This, one of the theories is that the servant girl annihilator and or the midnight assassin was indeed none other than Jack the Ripper. That he merely paused his work here in Austin and picked it up again across the pond, if you will, in Whitechapel. And there are many things that make that story enticing. You know, you find yourself almost this sounds crazy, but pulling for it to be true. It would be just such an amazing connection. But that said, uh, any intelligent conversation of the subject, you have to digress and say, you know, there's a lot of different theories uh, for who this killer may have been. And I go into those on the tour and sort of let my audience be the judge. So I present the evidence and uh, let your mind go where it will. We go to four of the actual murder sites, which makes it every bit a true crime walking tour. We start from the intersection of Bowie and Sixth for a reason, because that was the first murder in the crime spree. Uh, in, it was December 30, 1884, and that's where Molly Smith was um, hacked to death. This poor woman was killed with an ax uh, and a knife and seems to be of impaled in one ear into her brain as well, which was pretty much the MO of this killer. Yeah, I just think you should come on the tour Murder Walk Austin because it's one of those little known stories in Austin's past. It's kind of that story in the family history that's sort of been swept under the rug that you hear about in rumors, you know, and whispers. And it really does help define, just like a horrific story in any family tree will help define that family, both good and bad. There's no doubt that the serial killer in 1885 helped make us who we are, good, bad, and the ugly. And to truly be an Austinite, to entertain those friends that come from Brooklyn or wherever, you need to know our roots and you need to know what made Austin weird. And that's what we do on this tour.